Oh, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, and here now, the morning news in the morning. Music producer Quincy Jones was awarded $9.4 million by a Los Angeles jury Wednesday, that would be yesterday, in a trial over royalties and production fees from the recordings he made with Michael Jackson, the Associated Press reported. Jones had sought $30 million in his suit, which he filed in 2013. Michael Jackson's estate had countered that the producer was owed only $392,000. Michael Jackson was not available for comment. Angry parents have pledged to withdraw their sons from Boy Scouts amid an outcry over Donald Trump's highly publicized speech to, ten, uh, to tens of thousands of youngsters. The U.S. president broke with tradition to attack his political foes, threatened to fire federal employees, and denounce the media in a rambling speech in the 2017 National Scout Jamboree. His speech was also contained with innuendo-laden antidotes, which likened by one commentator to that of a drunken stepdad. Now that's not fair. Donald Trump was not drunk at the time. To infer that his brain is negatively affected by alcohol is wrong. That was all done without alcohol. Andrea Falls, a 19-year-old developer in Scotland, managed to get Windows 95 to function fully in the browser without any plugins. While program will start, load Windows programs, you will not be able to save anything. So you can go ahead and use Notepad, uh, you can use the calendar feature, but it's not going to save any of your work. So go ahead and if you can do like the MS Print uh, Paint, you can do that. You'll need to do a, uh, a screenshot. So, uh, yeah, and as if this morning news wasn't a waste of your time, now you have access to an operating system. You can't load, can't install, can't save anything. This is a great country. What? Andre, go get a job, really. All righty. Google.org, didn't even know there was one, is investing $50 million to alter how we think about work, from throwing money at training uh, at in-demand fields like coding, of course, they wanted coding, uh, to simply making life easier for people on lower wage positions. Mountain View is looking to the future. For example, the internet juggernaut knows that college isn't for everyone, so it's working on a tool so people can easily compare vocational and technical training programs. Google hasn't specified how such a system will work, uh, but there was one example, and they put this up on their screen, and they said, if you can figure this out, give us a call. All right, being able to reason uh, through potential future events is something humans are pretty good at, but that kind of ability is a real challenge when it comes to training artificial intelligence, AI. Uh, taking these reasoning skills and using them to create a plan is even more difficult, but the Google DeepMind team has begun to tackle this problem. In a recent blog post, researchers describe new approaches they developed to introducing imagining-based planning to AI. Other programs have been able to work in planning abilities, but only within limited environments. AlphaGo, for example, can do this really well, as the researchers note in the post blog. However, they add that environments like Go are perfect. They have clearly defined rules which allow outcomes to be predicted very accurately, very accurately in almost every circumstance. So the new program was installed, but they did have to pull a plug after one of the systems uh, then wanted to know, where is Sarah Connors? All right, last story. Promise. Ray and Wilma Yoder of Goshen, Indiana, are on a quest to make Cracker Barrel, cracker barrel history. Rubber baby buggy bumpers. Cracker Barrel baby. Krabby, Krabby, you know that place you're going to get a bite to eat. The couple married for 60 years are just one visit away from visiting 645 Cracker Barrel old country store locations in 44 states across the U.S. Um, I've not had a bad experience any time, Yay Rotor 80 told ABC News. I've always walked away feeling refreshed. Yoder began stopping at Cracker Barrel restaurants in the 1960s as he made his way across the U.S. as an RV driver. 
Um, husband and wife are both in their 80s, obviously. They just stopped on over to have a seat in one of the rocking chairs for a spell. Um, guys, I don't know how to break this to you, but you know you can buy those chairs, right? You don't have to go to each store. Sorry. Anyway, that's the news as I saw it today, July 27th, 2017. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like me, and be sure to share this as frequently as you can. That's how we get more subscribers. That'll give you an incentive to do this. <laughs> All right. I'm Dan Mason. We'll see you. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.